Welcome to part two of the Audacity tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to record and submit your multi-track assignments using Audacity. First, we'll want to go to the current assignment page and download the MP3 backing track. Right-click on the MP3 and select Save Target As, or Save Link As, depending on your browser. You can leave the name at default. Saving to the desktop will be the easiest to find the MP3, but you can save this wherever you like. Once the download is finished, click Close and go into Audacity. To import the MP3, click on Project Import Audio. Since we saved the MP3 to the desktop, it will appear in the list. Select the file and click Open. Audacity will now import the MP3 as a backing track for you to record along to. Click the Record button here to begin your recording. Spacebar will stop the recording. Audacity opens sessions at a default sample rate of 44 100Hz. If you are experiencing a delay with your recordings, your sound card may have a default sample rate of 48,000Hz instead. To change this in Audacity, click on the number next to Project Rate here and select 48,000. You can delete the previous take by clicking on the X next to your track. Then do a test recording to see if the delay is still there. If this works, you can have Audacity automatically open with this sample rate by going back into Preferences to the Quality tab and selecting 48,000 Hz as the default sample rate. You can also adjust your tracks after the recording by using the Time Shift tool here. Select this tool and click and drag your track to line up with the backing track. You can also use the Zoom tool for finer editing. Left click will zoom in and right click will zoom back out. Let's do one more take now that we have everything working properly. When you are happy with your recording, you will want to export it as an MP3 to upload to your course. To do this, click on File, Export as MP3. Your instructor will typically like you to use your first initial, last name, and assignment number for the name of the track. Again, saving to your desktop is the easiest to find. Audacity will now ask us to locate the lame MP3 encoder. This is the lame underscore enc dll file that we downloaded earlier. Click yes and go to the location where the file is saved. Select it from the list and click open. Audacity will now export the recording as a new mp3 to the location that you specified. Do not worry if the icon does not appear right away. Sometimes Windows takes a minute to catch up. To submit the assignment, return to your assignment page and click on the Post button. Here you will have a Subject, Attachment, and Message box. Add a subject for your post, and then click on the Browse button next to the Attachment field to upload your MP3. Locate your MP3 on your computer, select it, and click Open. Your assignment will now be attached to your post. You can add more attachments if you have multiple recordings. Add a message to your instructor and click on the Post button. Your assignment has now been submitted. If you have any trouble, feel free to contact us at service at berkeleymusic.com or call 617-747-2146, extension 3.